Hi, my name's Dean Barlow and you join me at the fabulous JCB Lakes in Roaster, Staffordshire. We've been given special permission to use the lake to see how I qualified for the Feeder Masters final this year. We're back sitting on Peg Sixter where I managed to win the match with only 10 fish which weighed 106 pound. It's not the first time that I've actually qualified for the Feeder Masters final on this lake. I did so a couple of years ago with only eight fish for £92. So you can see it's not like your typical commercial venue. It's a big lake uh, with a gravel bottom and it's very clear and there is a tactic that can catch these weary fish. JCB is one of my favourite venues but my love affair with this place didn't start recently. I used to come here fishing with my dad and in a couple of weeks time there is the JCB Classic being held in here, which my father was the first ever winner back in 1988. So I've loved the venue ever since then and the success I've had recently here is just a cherry on the cake for me. So the Feeder Masters final is at the end of September. It's very important as the England feeder team manager that I keep my finger on the pulse of what's happening in all things feeder fishing. You never know, I could meet the next world champion. With a lot of my fishing, I do like to keep it nice and simple. I set up three rods, a 12 foot rod, a 13 foot rod and a 14 foot rod because the fish in this lake do tend to move around quite a bit and you do have to go chasing them around. We'll be fishing method feeders only. It is the only tactic on here to get the best results. So I have a 12 foot rod which I use for going up to a distance of 50 metres which has got a 6 pound reel line and a 10 pound shot leader. Then I have a 13 foot rod, which I use for going between distance 50 to 80 metres. Again, with a 10 pound shock leader, but with five pound reel line. And then the big one of all, the 14 foot acolyte distance, which has only got four pound reel line, but still with a 10 pound shock leader, just in case I have to chase the fish into oblivion. So tactics today is method feeder fishing. As I've said, I like to keep it as simple as possible. So we're going to be fishing pellets around the feeder and boily hook baits. It doesn't get any simpler, but there is a few little tips that will help you get more fish from these difficult venues. When I do fish these lakes like JCB, where you're not fishing for many bites, the fish are big, you can take your time and make sure that everything's perfect. And bait preparation is paramount for me. But I do like to give it a little bit of a twist. I get the pellets out of the bag, but I do like to colour some a yellow colour. A lot of the locals around here use sweet corn, so the fish like yellow baits. My boilers I'll be using will be yellow, so I don't think it does you any harm to have a little bit of a contrast of your natural colour pellets and some yellow pellets. For me, it's a confidence thing as well, and I know that it definitely works on this lake. So this is how I prepare my pellets. So I get the pellets straight out of the bag, I pour them in the container and cover them with water so the pellets are like an inch underneath the water. I do stir them round just to make sure that there's no floating pellets or anything like that. And then the little twist is I get another tub and I squirt some yellow dye into the water and then add the pellets and again stir round. I do like to leave these for two to three minutes, I will check them just to see if they're soft. You don't want them mushy, you want them to have a soft outside and a hard centre. Once I've got the correct consistency, I drain the pellets and then put them into a bigger tub. You want the pellets to dry out on the outside, but the key thing is don't mix the pellets until they're dry. Otherwise all your yellow dye will go onto the other pellets, you end up with all yellow pellets and that's not the, the kind of bait preparation that you want for these kind of lakes. Once the bait's dried out, we can add them together and then that is all the feed that you need to catch these weary carp. When visiting venues like this, I think it's really important to get as much information as possible. I always go around and talk to the locals who fish it a lot more than me. They tend to give you a good idea where the fish are going to be at certain times. And on today's session, starting on a shorter line was definitely better and then progress out as the day goes. One thing I did notice about this is I think it's because the water is clear. The fish do move quite regular. Sometimes you can only catch one fish off one line and then have to move. 
I'm not sure why, but you've got to really keep in contact with the way the fish are feeding and prepared to make several moves during the day. So I started the session around 45 metres. Like I say, I spoke to the locals and that's where they usually catch their fish. But be prepared to go at extra distance. So after 20 minutes, I've caught my first carp on the 45 metre line, which was a nice mirror carp, around 15 pound. I cast back in and I never had a bite, but all the time I'm timing my bites. I do use a stopwatch and there's definitely a pattern that forms with bite times and where you're casting. Sometimes you can only get one fish off one line before you have to move. And that's why I have three rods set up just in case I have to keep chasing and chasing and chasing. So we've come to the end of the session. We've had a great day again at JCB Lakes. I've caught five fish using the 12 foot rod. I've caught three fish using the 13 foot rod. And right at the end of the session, I've got the big rod out, the 14 foot, and I've caught two on that. The only problem with coming to JCB Lakes is you always end up with a bad arm. These fish fight like mad. JCB is well renowned for strength and resilience. And I think these fish are made of the same material. I just want to say massive thanks to JCB Angling Club for giving us the opportunity to come to this fantastic venue. As I've said before, it's one of my favourite venues. Time to reminisce about the old days and also catch a nice big bag of carp. <laughs>